Favorite exercise for increasing power? So, like, it's strength. Oh, man. In terms of a um, training exercise, bloody fuck. In terms of training exercise, I would say doubles. Just set your feet heavy. Set your feet heavy on the floor, right in front of the bag or one of the bullseye shields, and just doubles. If you don't have and do less movement, because the tendency is to want to move more and more and more and more. You uh, you don't really practice gripping the floor. Watch a lot of Canelo trainer put into where they just grips into the floor, and then goes. Um, in terms of punching power exercises, the main exercises, anything heavy and bilateral is really good. Deadlift, squats, Brr, brilliant. Uh, core, band chops, medicine ball throws, and pale off press because it's like punching power is not just a factor of movement but also being able to resist motion on impact oh just awesome if you look at Stuart McGill research who is the top G of spinal core movements fucking hell he did a study of Muay Thai athletes and he did two training programs for different groups Fucking hell, I wish these would stop Crimson Heading. Oh no, he's back. And he did two groups. One group was doing what they call dynamic core work. So I think medicine ball throws, banded chops, V-ups. Stuff where there's movement, basically. And the other was doing isometric core exercise. We're not just sitting on a plank for like two minutes. They were doing more like anti-rotation. So what's that? Like you res put your arms out, but there's an, uh, a band giving you resistance and you just resist it. Uh, torsional buttress where you just going from one side to the other on the floor fucking this guy and that's that's really good for the moment of impact because when the moment of impact for a strike everything contracts again and any small leakages within the kinetic chain when they one that can be an injury risk but they can also, it's less force going into them, and the force is going into you, which is what you don't want. You want it all going into them. It's like a double pulse. So you've got this double pulse. You need to contract your muscles hard to make the movement occur. But you don't want to uh, stay contracted, because that'll just resist the movement. Bloody fuck, how can I get stunned off that? full side of the body up like Resident Evil 2 so you got to contract relax contract on impact <laughs> favorite lightweight MMA fighter ever I'm gonna go Ooh. before we get into like legitimate greats we're talking about I'm gonna talk about the most underrated lightweight fighters ever so oh, just personal favorites the, the Su Studios of my lightweight list I'm going to talk about... A lot of them aren't fighting now, and it's very sad. But Garam Katatsaladze. Demir is Magalov. He's not fighting anymore. That's tragic. And my favourite, Underwears, man. David Tamer. David Tamer is brilliant, man. Oh, Smooth Benson Henderson was a hero for me. Hero for, like, Smegel Twins training at the gym. Everyone loved Benson Henderson when I was watching him. Yeah, Benson's always great. He's still tied for title defences. He's still tied. People talk about Khabib this and that, and Khabib was more impressive, downright. But Benson's still tied. But yeah, there were three that are underappreciated due to the annals of time that went away prematurely. Demir Ismagalov. Oh, so good. Underwears, man. David Timur. One of the best left kicks in the history of the sport, mixed martial arts. And, I actually forgot who was going to... TJ Grant. Remember when Junior Dos Santos got that wheel kick on Mark Hunt? And Mike Tyson Mike was there? Big enough to use this thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fucked. But, remember when Dos Santos wheel kicked Mark Hunt for this amazing knockout? 
but then Mike Tyson was there and he said, no, that's not knockout of the night. Blue medallions more. Mike Tyson was like, yeah, TJ Grant gets a knockout. Well, does a flash grenade set still work? I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for it. It might waste a flash. But if I know Resident Evil 4... Oh, it does work. 